June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. It's elegant. It cost me a whole month's allowance. But nothing's too good for our Lassie. If they had a bathing beauty contest for dogs, Lassie'd beat them all. Yes, I'm sure of it. Uh, Timmy, do you remember Mrs. Johnson, whom we met in Mr. Porter's store last week? Uh-huh. Well, I've invited her and her son over to lunch next Saturday. Would you mind taking that to her, please? Sure, Mom. But why don't you just call her? Well, I'd like to, but she just moved in. She doesn't have a phone yet. Okay. Come on, girl. I understand, Lassie. But you'll have to speak to your master about that collar. Come on, Lassie. about the fastest dog there is. Who are you? Timmy. Timmy Martin. Hi. Hi. I'm Steve Johnson. Lassie wants her to play with her in the woods. Well, Pat can't do that. Why not? Because she's a racing dog. You ever see racing horses running wild in the woods? No. Pat's bones are sticking out. You should feed her some more, and then she might calm down. I told you, she's a racing dog. Her bones are supposed to stick out. We're practicing starts today. Is she going to be in a race? No, but we got to be ready just in case. OK, ready, Pat? Go! <laughs> I 
Jess wants to show her tricks, too. Pretty good, huh? It's all right. You can pretty much teach any dog to learn tricks. But to be a racer, you have to be born that way. Lizzie was born that way, too. Oh, yeah? Well, we could find out. What do you mean? We could have a little race. Hey, yeah! Come on, Pat. Come here, girl. Here, Pat. Come on. Come here, Pat. Good girl, Lassie. We'll start the dogs from here and go over there a little ways, and the dogs can run to us. Okay. Come here, Lassie. Lassie, we just gotta win. We can't let any old skinny greyhound beat us. Stay, girl. Stay, girl. Stay. Stay. Stay, Pat. Stay. I'll stay there. Stay, Lassie. Stay, Pat. Stay. When I drop my arm, that'll be the start, okay? Okay. Settles that. Here, Pat. Come on, Lassie. Lassie. Steve. Come on. Darling, I'd like for you to go to Mr. Porter's store for me. Hello, you're Timmy Martin, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Well, how's your mother? She's fine. She told me to give you this. Well, how nice. Tell her we'd be glad to come, Timmy. Yes, ma'am. And I hope you come back to visit us again real soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. And then we lined them up and started the race. And you know what happened? I think so. What? I think the Greyhound won. How did you know, Mom? Oh, I guessed it. Besides, I know that greyhounds are bred for racing, and Lassie isn't. Well, even so, I'm going to train Lassie. And when she's ready, we'll have another race. And she'll beat that greyhound. You just wait and see. Timmy, who could build a better dam? A beaver or Lassie? That's silly, Mom. A beaver can build a better dam. Yes, it is silly. I agree with you. But you're not unhappy with Lassie because she can't build a dam, are you? No. You see, Lassie has her own very special qualities. She's intelligent and she's strong. Any sheep herder who uses a collie will tell you that. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for dogs like Lassie, shepherds would have a very hard time of it. I know that. Everybody and everything has its own special value. Some people work better with their heads than with their hands. I know that, too. And so, Lassie has her special value, and so does a greyhound. But that doesn't mean that one is any better than the other. But this is different, Mom. You just wait and see. I can prove it. Come on, Lassie. You've got some training to do. Born that way. Huh. Come on, girl. Timmy? Yes, Mom? Why don't you show Steve around? That sounds like a good idea. May we be excused? Yes. Be back in about an hour. Okay. What would you like to do? Well, how about going to that old sawmill you told me about? That sounds like a pretty fun place. Well, 
We'll think of something. Come on, Steve. Come on, girl. Hey, what's that? Looks like a race course. It sure does. It is a race course. We got everything here. Still want to go to that old sawmill? Do you want another race? Okay, if you want to. Once around the track and back here, okay? Okay. I'm ready when you are. Hey, you want to make the race more fun? Sure, how? Well, I'll put up my steel jackknife against that collar. I don't know. What's the matter, afraid? No, I'm not afraid. Then is it a deal? It's a deal. Maybe you should show Pat the course first. Don't worry. Pat knew about courses before she was born, almost. Lassie, this is it. I know you can do it. You just show them. This will be a breeze, Pat. When I drop my arm, we go, okay? Okay. Girl, Pat. Here. Thanks. Well, that fits you fine, Pat. Well, what do you want to do now? Let's go home. Aren't you going to show me the sawmill? All right.
What is it? Well, something's wrong. here. Uh-uh. Well, I don't think it's anything serious. Um, we can call a doctor from my place, though, just to make sure. Come on, let's go. You can tell us all about it on the way home. Can you stand on it, Steve? Well, I think so. Maybe I was more scared than anything. Lassie ought to have the collar back. She proved she was the best dog. I don't know about that. Well, you see, we're all kind of special, you know. I mean, well, some people are fat, and some people are long. But the longs aren't any better than the fats. Come on, let's go. Dogs are special, too. I mean, Pat's fast. And Lassie, she's a work dog. And Trong. 
That's what makes Lassie special. But she isn't better than Pat. Right, Mom? <laughs> you bet. Come on, let's go home. I guess Lassie wants Pat to have her car. Okay, okay, Lassie. Pat can keep it. <laughs> <laughs>